back to another video in Swift for Beginners. In this lesson, we're going to be quickly giving you an overview of searching and sorting. So let's get started by getting rid of all of this and let's, uh, let's discuss this a little bit. So the nature of searching and sorting is pretty important in general in computer science. Um, and what I mean by that is, let's say you have a array or a collection of numbers and you want to find if a given number is in that array. Maybe you'll want to search that array to find it. Um, maybe it's also a good idea to sort that array in ascending order, 1 to let's say 10, and that'll be easier to use to find it. So searching and sorting have a variety of algorithms um, that are that have been made over the past several years in computer science, and I just wanted to introduce a concept here, uh, seeing as it's a beginner's course, but this is a topic that is heavily asked in interview questions, and I encourage you to go look at various searching and sorting algorithms online and other uh, courses. So we're going to start by creating an array of numbers. This is going to hold a bunch of numbers. Let's start giving some variety in here. And what we want to do is we're going to write a function that's going to return true or false if a given number is in this array. So we're going to write a function um, is number in array and it's going to take a number which is going to be an int and it's going to take a array which is going to be an array of ints and it's going to return a bool and down here we're going to call this function um, with any given number so by default this function will return false right um, which basically means if we haven't found it at this point there's nothing else we can do so just return false what we want to do here is use a for in loop. So what I'm going to show here is a very basic way to um, do a simple search, which is basically iterate. Um, in other words, go through one by one each element and try to see if that element is the number that we're looking for. And there are a variety of searching algorithms, but I just want to introduce this to you. So we're going to do for, um, let's say, x in array if x equals number return true and that's basically our searching algorithm so it's very basic but what we're going to basically be doing is for each thing in the array which is our input and i just called the thing x um, if you recall we can call this whatever we want if that thing is the number that we want which is the other parameter which is an int return true um, and of course, if it's not, it'll keep going. And um, something important to recognize here is, let's say we are looking for three, and there are multiple occurrences of three in here. The first time it encounters what we're looking for, it'll return, and it won't even bother going down the rest of the rest of the array. So let's uh, let's see this in practice. So we're gonna say um, is number. Okay, let's see not wanting to autocomplete, so let's do this. Okay, it's is three in numbers. And if we come over here, we'll see the given output. Now let's see if we put some other number that isn't in the array, we'll get a different output. And that's basically how searching works. We can basically search if something is given in a larger collection. Now why is this important? So let's say you have an email app and you want to delete a particular email, but it's in multiple inboxes and folders. Maybe you have the emails in an array and you would want to basically cycle over and search for all the occurrences of that email so you can delete it. That's a real world example of this. So similarly, um, for sorting, now it's important to note that this array, for the most part up until like this point, is in ascending order. Now, oftentimes, your collection of data won't be in ascending order. It might be 12, and 1, and 2, and 13, and 0, and 3, and 4. Now, this brings me to the point of why sorting is important. 
if we know that a given set of numbers is sorted, it makes our lives easier. So if we, if we know it's in ascending order, and let's say we're looking for five, what we can do is we can, in, in essence, keep going through the elements one by one until we find something that's either five or something that's greater than five. For example, if we find a six, at that point, because we know the numbers are in order, after the six, like there surely can't be a five. So at that point, we can just return false and say, hey, I got to a six and there is no five in here. Therefore, there is no five in this collection. Similarly, what you can also do if uh, the collection of numbers is sorted is you can start in the middle and you can say, OK, is what I'm looking for larger or smaller? And as a result, you can either start going through the numbers in here to the left or to the right. And what I just described is a searching algorithm called binary search. Whoops, I can't type today. So the nature of it uh, being called binary search is you start in the middle of a given array and you either go left or right, right? So let's say we go to the left, let's say we know five is smaller or like two is smaller. So we'll go here, we'll start at the middle here and be like, okay, is two gonna be on this side or this side? And we know it's gonna be on this side and surely there's our two. So that is the nature of sorting and searching and why they go hand in hand. Um, binary search requires that a given array of numbers is sorted because if it wasn't sorted, um, the, the notion of going either to the right or left based on if the number is larger or smaller doesn't hold up. So that's the very basic intro to searching and sorting. Um, I hope that was a decent explanation. Um, let, please leave a comment if you want me to go deeper into this. I think searching and sorting and algorithms themselves will require a whole course of their own. And I'd be more than happy to uh, go through that with you. That, uh, that is something that we uh, like to cover quite a bit at my current uh, employer, which is Microsoft. And this is what we interview with quite a bit. So yeah, uh, leave a like, comment, follow, subscribe. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next lesson.